everybody. I'm here today in beautiful UCLA, which is the University of the City of Los Angeles. And we're here at Royce Hall, which is this really impressive and um, unique um, location in UCLA. And it's going to be perfect for what we're shooting, which is dance, specifically ballet and contemporary. Um, I'm here today with Kate Coleman, who is a local dancer, and uh, let's get to know her. So, Kate, tell me a little bit about how you ended up in um, Los Angeles and how you became a dancer. Yeah, I started dancing when I was three. I broke my leg on a tunnel slide, and they used dance as physical therapy, and I just really loved it, so I never stopped. I came out to Los Angeles to get my Bachelor's of Fine Arts in dance theater, um, and yeah, I've been here ever since. <laughs> Very cool. And uh, what are you hoping to get specifically from today's shoot? Um, today I really want to get inspired by the architecture and the shapes of the arches and the tough corners and kind of, you know, work with you, get your angles and get to know you really well. So, yeah. Great. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. I'm actually using these Comica Boom XD mics for anybody that's interested. Uh, Kate has got one too, hoping to improve the sound quality on my vlogs moving forward. So let me know in the comments if you think it's working. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them. Um, uh, but hopefully it's going to sound a bit better for you guys watching at home. Okay, let's go. Yay. One, go. Perfect. Go. And wrap it up. So Kate, what's your favorite type of dancing? Uh, I really like contemporary ballet. I want to hit classical shapes and then like kind of ooey gooey move out of them. <laughs> and what advice would you give um, people who are thinking about going into dance and just a little bit unsure, what advice would you give them? Yeah, um, my biggest advice is it's never too late to start dancing. And if you're doing something with passion, then there's a reason for doing it. <laughs> And how would they start out? What would you suggest they do? Um, I would suggest starting with either ballet or African or modern dance, something that is going to get you to really feel the rhythm and kind of get like base techniques under your belt. And um, where would they find out um, where to go? Um, that's a great question. If you're in Los Angeles, you can study at places like The Edge or Debbie Allen's or uh, Millennium even. Um, there's a lot of different studios, but if you're not in LA, the best way to start is just, you know, Google it. <laughs> just dance studios in my area. <laughs> okay, good advice there from the expert. <laughs> We're now heading towards the sculpture garden and uh, hopefully we can get some good video and pics around here, although it is a bit bright, so this is going to be a challenging shoot. Voila, the sculpture garden. A lot of dappled light coming through the trees here, making it tricky. 
There's that giant sculpture over there. <laughs> over there oh, nice. it could look quite interesting should we check that out and then maybe over by that fountain afterwards yeah right now we're in this sculpture that you might have picked up on that little clip that i was filming and uh yeah not really sure if this is going to work or not but we'll give it a go now it's something that i'd always recommend you know just if you see something that looks quite interesting give it a go because you can always delete it afterwards Right, so we're back at this amazing sculpture and uh, I'm going to shoot Kate in this entrance here. You can see I've got the light coming in from behind her, creating a nice little uh, rim light around her. And uh, I'm going to be shooting her in between the, what, these two sides of the sculpture and uh, let's see how they come out. So Kate, where can people find you at Universal Studios? Uh, you can find me in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter on the stage during the TriWiz show. I'm a Bobaton dancer, so do our little show every hour or so and do meet and greets afterwards. Oh, fun. Yeah. Magic! What do people say to you? What's the weirdest <laughs> question you've had? Um, we get a lot of weird questions. Our school in the Potter series is from France, so we get a lot of like, what's France like? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't speak any English because we're supposed to be French. So, <laughs> so you just say, je ne comprends pas. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> And how long is the routine that you have to dance for? And it's about six minutes, so not too long, but the summers do get a little hot sometimes. <laughs> and how many times a day are you having to do it? Six. Oh, wow. Yeah. Two, one, action. In a new spot now, as you can see, we've got these big pillars, and it's like a huge atrium area. Um, Kate's friend is on reflector over there, trying to fill the shadows there to get the right exposure. And I'll probably turn this to black and white. You can see it's a very high contrast area, and I, I really like that for these more modern looks and uh, gone for a change of outfit there to um, reflect this modern look. There you can see Kate just busting out some really good contemporary moves. Lots of cool abstract positions. And I think that's perfect for this type of area. In terms of settings, I'm exposing for the very bright parts, the highlights, and um, going for a sh fast shutter speed just to remove the blur of all these faster movements that um, Kate is using. Okay, so my shots were all coming out overexposed and so I realized I didn't have my high speed sync on for the flash. If you're shooting above about 200 um, shutter speed, then you need to put your high speed sync on your flash Otherwise, um, it's not going to work. Okay, let's go. Yep, so that works much better now.
Right, so it's a wrap. We have done it. So we fitted in, how many was that? Three locations? Yep. Three locations. Good workout for Kate, <laughs> not so much for me. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. I think we got some great picks. What do you think, Kate? I think they're awesome. I'm really excited to see them. Which was your favorite of the three locations? Um, I think in the sculpture, that was a lot of fun to play with the shapes of the opening. And what did you find uh, most difficult today? Um, I think probably this modern uh, pillar location. The floor was a little cobblestone-y, which is hard on the feet, but it was fun to play with. Yeah, and I think you found it quite hot in the sun as well, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> feet were burning a little, but worth it. <laughs> cool. Well, we're both looking forward to seeing the pics. Um, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe, hit that like, and then uh, drop a comment below. We'd love to hear what you thought about it. Uh, Kate, anything to mention? Um, Instagram? Yeah, uh, my Instagram is kate.coleman.3. Uh, put it me. up on the screen over Thank there you. as well, <laughs> and in the description below. Um, anything you want to add? Um, no, thanks for joining us. <laughs> cool. Thanks, everybody. See you in the next vlog.